Hey friends, I hope you're doing well today. In today's episode, we are gonna talk about Notion's Web Clipper, and we are gonna go through the whole process of getting it set up, why it's important, and you'll see how I use it as a database, as a second database within my Notion ecosystem to be able to save articles and text from it. Now, before I begin, please like, subscribe, or hit that notification bell. Even if you just hit that like button, it lets me know that you are getting value from this content. All right, so let's begin. Okay, so first and foremost, this is Notion's Web Clipper. If you just Google Notion Web Clipper, you could find it, download it. At the end, it'll be a little icon like you see here in my browser. This has all the details about it, where you could find it, all the little details about the actual Web Clipper and what it does. Now, what it once you have it installed, I'm going to show you an actual live article getting saved in. Let me minimize this for a moment. So this is what it ends up building inside your Notion account. You'll see here, I added these two columns, but basically what it does automatically is it will take the title of the article from the web. It'll take the content from the article, even photos, you'll see this here, place everything within this document Plus it'll save the link for you. So then you could go back to that article. And then what I did as well as I added this date here. So it adds in the date as well. Now, before I go any further, plagiarism, copyright issues, there's probably a whole host of potential issues here. And if you are someone who's watching this video and you are just frustrated that this is even an option, what I would say, this is my purpose in using it. And I, I, I think this could be very valuable for other people. The internet changes constantly. And sometimes I find articles I absolutely love, but then I lose them. Or when I go back to them, they have changed or they're gone. They just don't exist anymore. And so a way to keep content so that you can find the data and the value that you're looking for, the information you're looking for, this is a really useful tool. I don't use this to copy or plagiarize or steal other people's content. I use this as a way to organize content for me, specifically when I have an idea. Maybe you have this as well. When I remember something from an article, often I wanna reference it in a conversation with a friend and I have to go find the article and I don't know where the article is, but I know one or two words, one or two phrases from that article. So now I could go into Notion, search, command P, search for the article, search for the idea and be able to find it relatively easy. So it actually brings me back to the article fairly quickly and fairly easily, and it helps me share the article further. So when it comes down to copying or plagiarizing, I don't stand for that at all. But in this case, this is something that allows you the ability to be able to share content when you need it. Okay, so let's get back to it. So you can see here, these are all the articles. I added these tags and these statuses, which there's a few tags here, and then statuses is read, unread, or revisit, any of those as well. And then you can see the date. The date is so it makes it really easy for me to sort. But what I'm gonna show you right now is this currently lives within my workspace. And this includes all my files. The reason this is actually a problem is because if I search my workspace, I could get confused on what is my content that I wrote and what is content here that is written in the articles. Not that I'm necessarily taking that stuff and publishing it, but if I'm searching for something, I wanna be able to differentiate between what's mine and what is um, another person's article. I don't want all these other articles to populate when I search in Notion. So when I come in here and I'm searching in Notion for any of these different keywords that I'm thinking of, well, then I can now separate this, which is really actually valuable. I do know that in here, if you're searching for something, you can set up filters, but this is an easy way, specifically since Notion released its free, basic free plan since COVID happened basically, it allows you the freedom to quickly and easily create a second workspace where you never have to pay for it, but it can operate as your own Google, which is so exciting. Okay, so let's do that now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, let me go into here. So I have my workspaces here. Let me actually open up this menu fully so you see it. So here's the menu. So we'll click on Foundry. Um, and then we'll click these three little dots here and I'll say join or create a workspace. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my workspace and just like that it is creating an account for me. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the content here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do to get this set up is I deleted this page, you'll see it says trash right now, but settings and members. So I'm gonna click there and I'm just gonna come in and set this up. So I set up the name as articles I love. The icon, it grabbed the picture of me, cool, that's fine. Here's the content, all right, great. 
So update that, it's already updated. Now I'm gonna go back to Foundry. And here in the menu, you see I have articles I love. So, cause I'm transferring this, I'm doing this part of the process. If you're creating a new account, you've never done this before, you would skip this part. All right, so I'm gonna click on these three little dots. You'll see here, once I click on those three dots, it says move to. What's so awesome is the first two options are my other workspaces. So here I could click on articles I love, which is in your workspace. And now it will move that there. You'll see I'm now in that workspace. And so as I'm in this workspace and this lives here, we're all good to go on this side. And right before I get to the web clipper, back to that, there is one thing I wanna show you is if you've never created these before, there's probably a ton of videos online to help you do this. But what I would recommend here is let's just click on one. So we'll click open. What you can do is you could click into this. So this was an interesting article. It pulls the URL, it pulls the title. It just created time. So it literally populates it for itself. The only two things I'm populating are status and also outside of status is tags. I haven't really used tags a ton, but it could be something I do. For work, I do SEO. I do SEOs primarily with Squarespace. So there's a lot of content that I find here that I really love. These are more personal. If I'm trying to grow my business, personal growth or mental health, anything around mental health. So this article here would fall under mental health and then status would be, I did read this. So that is all of that. All right, so that's how you set up those pieces. Now let's go here. What you'll do is you find an article you love. Let's say you've article and you say, this is great. Absolutely love this. This is actually just published just about a year ago. Okay. So you have the notion web clipper here. It'll ask you to log in. So you'll click on it say log in. It'll pull you to a login screen. I log in with Google. So we'll do that real quick. And just like that, I've been logged in and then I'll go back to the article and then I'll click the little notion web clipper. It'll show you the title here that you can add in and then it'll ask you where to add it. Now I deleted this or I've moved it. So what I need to do is change it. So workspace, I will change to articles I love and then add to articles I love. So that is all set to go. I'll hit save. And then what you'll see on the notion side is sometimes if it doesn't load, you can hit update and that usually helps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the page. Oh, wait, I just saw it come up. There it is. It's right there. So if I hit open, you'll see now it populates everything. Isn't that so useful? Like once you do this setup once, you never have to think about it again. Once you have this database created, what you can do really fairly quickly is click quick find or command P on your keyboard. And it basically pulls up the latest articles and content, but you could just search here. Now I literally just made this and it still needs to be indexed on notions platform. I think I just tried five searches and literally nothing was coming up that was directly on the pages, but it does work. It does work. I search all my other notion accounts perfectly fine. So this literally was just made five minutes ago. So I'm imagining in about an hour or so, or by tomorrow, it will be good to go, but you'd be able to come in here and search. And now you have your own personal Google. This is even helpful for support articles. So I just clicked on this SEO checklist. This is from the Squarespace support website. So I could come in here. I know I grabbed this on September 15th. So if there are updates to the software, I can imagine this could be dated, but it gives me all this content that makes it really easy for me. If I'm searching for something or have a question about a URL slug or SSL or anything like that to be able to search it and find it. So this here is so useful. Let me show you another example on this website. Before I do that too, if you've never used Speechify, download that plugin. It'll basically read the article for you fairly easy and fairly quickly, which is amazing for free. Random Psychology Today article I just clicked on. Let me just go here. Boom, okay, six new ideas. So same thing, you could click on this and then save page. And let me go back to articles I love and you'll see here, boom. And just like that, you'll see it's loaded, it's on the site. Beautiful, perfect, easy. Now, what you wanna do, this is just the last note here and we're good to go. One thing you wanna do is you wanna double check. You wanna double check, sometimes it takes a few moments, but you wanna double check that it has pulled the content. Sometimes it does not pull the content. And so just bear in mind that for two seconds, you may have to do something like this. Click and then all the way to the top, copy, and then come in here and paste. 
and you should be good to go. It'll copy everything, it'll add the images, it'll do it all for you, keep all the links, which is awesome as well. All of that will get set up for you, add it to your Notion page, then you could go in, mental health, status, unread, announce an article on your list to read, and later on, if you wanna organize it, you could say, you could do filter, uh, let's add a filter, and let's do status is unread, Boom. And so any of the articles that are unread there will be there. If you're on the go, now you have them on your phone. You can take them anywhere you go. It makes it so easy to access content wherever you go. And it's your own personal Google. It becomes your own personal Google. So you don't have to cipher through content you've already ciphered through. You go do a Google search, you see 75 articles, you pull out five that you find very valuable. You save those five. The next time you need to search that topic, you don't have to go through that whole process again. You just start back in your Notion page. And then by separating it, you separate it from your content. So when you're in your page, you're not having to worry about what is inside like what the content is if it's if you wrote it or if it came from somewhere else or you're not competing with yourself that's probably a better way to say it so anyway anyway that is all for today thank you for watching i'd like to ask you this do you find this tool useful if you have used it before and if you haven't used it before did you find this as something that could be useful for you and are there any other workarounds or work systems that you see applicable to your daily life. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That lets me know that you are getting value from this content. And if there are any other things that you have questions about with Notion as well, drop those in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.